A good tender is one that includes all the key elements of the tender. There are many reasons for why a subcontractor may not be able to meet the requirements of the scope or even the schedule, but a good tender will include technical queries to query the contractor for clarifications and changes. This opens up the conversation to discuss the impacts and allows both parties to move forward. On the other hand, a bad tender can occur very often. This can occur when the subcontractor does not fully understand the scope and has not accounted for all the contractor's requirements while believing that they actually have. In other occasions, the subcontractor may have a robust understanding of the scope but still fail to provide a tender to the requirements of the contractor. This can be due to the subcontractor trying to push for proprietary goods and services when a specific goods or service has already been specified. Another situation could be that the contractor has not provided the scope of work clearly, which makes it impossible for the subcontractor to provide an accurate and timely tender. There are many more cases, but in all bad tenders, the underlying factor for a bad tender is that the tender does not include all the key elements that is required for a tender.